Okay, so I did the jar of tarts a while ago. Um, I've decided to start it again, um, which is literally a jar of... This is a mixture of votives and uh, wax tarts, or wax melts, as you would also call them. Um, I've decided to do this because I've got a lot of wax at the moment, and I need to try and clear it out a bit to make room for other things. So... I've decided to start the um, project again and as you can see this is a quite a large jar from Ikea and I will fill it with these waxes and try and burn these before I burn anything else in my melter, an electric melter that looks like Santa. Most of these are Yankee melts. There's a mixture though of other things. So there's um, some sort of um, vendor wax and there's a Pringle. And there's also, these are from Flamingo Pumps. So, but I'll show you everything that I've got here that I'm going to uh, melt. Most of these are sort of autumn scents or Christmas scents, like this one, which is Snowflake Cookie from Yankee. So I'll put that in the thing. Sorry, every so often that is going to make a noise. This is Paddy's Candles. It smells like Snow Fairy, which is the Lush Bath Bomb. Not Bath Bomb, um, yeah. They do do a bath bomb with that scent, but it's the um, shall we go? These got alien printer, which smell the sort of sweet. Last time I smelt these, this is from one of my wax boxes, which I will carry on having. So that is Caddy's candles. These are all from Flamingo. So I've got one there. We've got these tiny little things. I love Flamingo stuff, but I used to have the Flamingo box. I had that for nine months or so so those need to be melted and then most of this is yankee this is a mrs kringle and it is sparkly got this a while ago i think on the way home from durham where my family live or paul's family live my husband's family live. this is by wax addicts this is a wax melt crumble um this is oh no it's goose cream so there we go Okay, so this is all Yankee, I think, and the first one is honey and spice. I'm not sure if that's in the Colin collection. So I've got a sweet strawberry. So I'm just going to get everything back in. I've got a Macintosh, which I got from the outlet at Brandy Mill a while ago. I got loads of these, so I'm only going to use up some of them. Some of them I'm going to keep because it's a hard scent to get, and if I really love it, I'll keep it for when sort of special times. This is spiced pumpkin. It's another hard one to get. I don't really do pumpkin scents in this country. But this one does smell quite nice. And another one to use. We've also got this one, which is a full, no, Fuji apple. Sorry, there's one called, I think, Full Glory. It's very similarly packed, this one, which is Full Glory, which has sort of a spicy scent and an autumnal scent. Trying to use up some of my autumnal scents. Candy corn, which is a, a sort of staple for Yankee Candle. And I think these were like 50p at the outlet at Swindon. Um, the outlets are well worth trying in this country. So you've got all the, you've got ones that are actually in, in the Carter Glens. You've also got things like Patley Mill. And you've got all the um, Boundary Mills as well. So, or well, some of them have Yankees. So balsam and cedar, which I absolutely love. This is the scent I normally burn when I'm ill. So it's one of the only scents I can actually burn when I'm ill. Like flamingo, if I'm more ill. So this is cappuccino truffle. And then we have sage and citrus. We have moonlight, which is supposed to smell a bit like uh, Midsummer's Eve, but a mix of that and something else. So it's a cologne sort of scent. I've had midnight from... The new home inspirations range from Tesco's and Asda and Fendi. But this one is Moonlight. And then we have other ones. We have Cranberry Eyes, which was one of the winter ones last year. And I think it, you can get it this year in the winter. I know you can't get... Mm, there's an apple one that you can get. Difficult to get. Merry Berry, which I got from an outlet. Some of these have outlet stickers on, some of them don't. Another outlet one, which I got from Swindon. The the berry one was from Boundary Mill at Public 
skunk. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. No, it's gone. There you go. Just outside Birmingham is a bag of milk. Uh, Witch's Brew, which is another Halloween one. We've got these left, which is cafes, which is black currant. Because this is what they call them in... They call the in France. And then we have the final one. Oh, no, we have another Kuminga. And we have this for autumn, which is quite a hard one to get. Which I'm assuming I got at a... Oh, no, I got this one at um, Yankee Sense for you. Yeah, Yankee Sense for you, I know. So that is everything that is in my jar this time. Um, yep, that's everything. So, oh, and another one here. Sorry, another candy corn. But that is everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day. I will try and do more videos now my son's at school. Thank you very much. Goodbye.